So today I'll be changing my rear tire in my 1200 watt e-bike. I got a flat because my tire had worn down significantly over the 4,000 miles I put on it, as you can see. Your e-bike tire is taking much bigger pounding than on a regular bike due to the extra weight and vibration. In order to remove the wheel, the first thing I have to do is disconnect the motor's wire connections to the controller. To do so, remove the battery, got to remove the battery, and depending on your connections, remove all connections from the controller related to your motor. Once that's disconnected, you can then remove your rear wheel. Make sure that all of the washers and lock washers are in the correct order. Now that I've removed the wheel, I'm going to remove the punctured inner tube. I'm going to put a new tire on the wheel and I'm also going to insert a plastic protector to help prevent from future flats. I've inflated the new inner tube so that it can conform to the tire and the plastic protector's form and will help prevent punctures when sealing the tire to the rim. Once the new tire and inner tube are installed, I'm going to inflate the tire to about half of its final pressure. I am now going to put the wheel back on the bike, making sure that the washers are in the correct position. The flat washers go on the inside of the frame, this is really important, and the lock washers secure the wheel from the outside of the frame, so really make sure you've got that correct. Once the wheel is secure and the bolts are tightened, reconnect the motor wires to the controller. Secure the battery and turn it on. Once you've checked that all of your connections are secure, throttle the motor to make sure that everything works. Once you make sure that everything's worked, problem solved. 